Hi, we're here with Dr. Dale Patterson, Memorial's Vice President of Medical Affairs. Thanks a lot for joining us today, Dr. Patterson. Glad to be here. Um, we've recently started at Beacon easing into more surgeries after several weeks of being a little more restrictive. Can you tell us what is our current plan? Our current plan is to offer as many uh, services to our patients as we possibly can, given the current restrictions with the pandemic. Uh, the government has relaxed the restrictions and we have more uh, personal protective equipment available uh, for our associates to be able to protect them and our patients. And pretty much we can do whatever a doctor feels that a patient needs at this point. We wanna start offering those services again. Okay, what do patients need to know before they come in? Um, is there anything in particular they need to do or what should they know about what we're going to do for them? Yeah, patients need to recognize that things are different than they were in January before uh, the, the disease first showed up in our area and we're doing things to protect them and to protect other people in the hospital. So before they have their surgery, we will uh, ask them to get yeah. tested. And then during that time between when they're tested and when they come to the hospital, we're gonna ask them to stay home so that they don't get exposed and they don't potentially uh, bring the disease with them to the hospital. Why are we able to do this now? Why are we able to ease up and allow more surgeries to take place? What's changed? So a few, few things have changed. The uh, one is that in the past, we did not have the protective equipment available uh, and we had to really restrict what we were doing in the hospitals to preserve that for care of patients who had COVID. Uh, we have more equipment available now and, and we're able to, to do more because of that. Uh, in recognizing that, the state has relaxed the restrictions uh, that were in place because of, of the PPE restrictions. And then third, you know, we've, we've really seen that we didn't have the spike in cases that we thought we might have at this point. Uh, and we don't have the volume of patients in our community with COVID, fortunately, that some other places uh, have experienced uh, and we're able to provide services uh, to other patients. How will we continue to keep patients safe? They might be wondering that when they enter our facilities, you know, what measures we have in place. Can you describe those for us? Yeah, things look a lot different now than they did a few months ago. Uh, when, when patients, what they should know is when they come into the hospital, uh, we're doing something called cohorting, where patients who are known to have COVID are in a different area of the hospital and kept separate uh, from patients who do not in order to minimize the exposure and uh, the risk of infection to patients who don't have COVID. Uh, we're also screening visitors uh, at the door and limiting who can come into the building. So people who come in for surgery are only allowed to have one person with them who's going to be their ride home or who will stay until they're done with their surgery and then, and then leave. And our inpatients uh, don't have visitors right now because we want to limit the chances that we're spreading the disease within our walls. So it looks a lot different in the hospital. There's a lot less people around uh, because we don't have the visitors and uh, our cafeteria is, is not open uh, to sit at a table and eat. And it looks a lot different than it did in December and January. And finally, you know, if someone's wondering or questioning whether they should um, seek out surgery at this time, what would you tell them? I would tell them to talk to their doctor. Uh, there's the, not a lot of reasons why you shouldn't have things done. Uh, but the people I would be concerned about in particular are those who are at high risk of complications from COVID-19. So uh, patients who are older, uh, who have significant health concerns uh, or chronic illnesses uh, should talk to their doctor and see if this is the right time for them to have that procedure. Some things can wait and, and we might be in a better uh, position for them to be safer in the future and other things can't and, and they should still have those things done now. Uh, for most people who are at low risk and, and need to have something done, um, there's no reason that they shouldn't talk to their doctor and go back and, and see if now is the time to have it done. Perfect. Thanks so much for clarifying and for your perspective today. All right. You're welcome.